Sarah just called from work and said a lady called about getting her trailer moved and they didn't have anybody available so she called me. I guess she's an 80 year old lady that has to have it moved today because she's been in her spot too long and she has no means to move it. I guess her husband's dead, that whole thing. So I'm gonna head on over and see if I can help her out. Luckily, she's not too far away. She's just down at the golf course and I guess they have a two week limit and she's reached her two weeks. Um, I, I, I'm not sure where we're gonna tow it to. I've just heard somewhere local. Um, they'll give me more info when I get down there. But this trailer could be bigger than I can actually handle. The truck's capabilities are pretty good, but this trailer could be bigger than what it's rated for. Uh, luckily, it's not very far, and if I can move it, I'm gonna move it. I don't wanna leave some 80-year-old lady stranded. It's just a bad situation she's in. She hasn't been able to get a vehicle yet. Uh, bought the trailer, had it delivered, you know, that sort of situation. Not the call I was expecting. I was just out shoveling rocks working on that RV pad and heck this gives me a chance to get in the truck with some air conditioning because it's almost 100 degrees here it is just hot Oof. I don't know how hot it is where you're at but it's turned hot here in Utah all right let's see what trailer we have to move here pretty sure it's not that Eagle because that has a goose box adapter None of those doesn't look like it's the Springdale and they have a truck there okay here we go here's a prowler but it's all still hooked up to stuff so I hope that's not it because they said they were ready to go Oh, okay, there's a Montana. I'm betting that's it with all the slides in. Yeah, I bet that's it. Bigger Montana. I think this is it. This Montana here, it looks like about a 40 footer. 39, 40 foot. A few years old. Pretty good shape though. Luckily, it has this curved cap, so should be able to pull it with my truck without hitting anything. Let's see how heavy this bugger is. Okay, almost 16,000. Oh, here they are, I think. All right, unhook the water. Power here. go around and make sure everything's unhooked okay I think we are ready to get hooked on they have absolutely zero experience so they're kind of just leaning on me and that's always fun when you're dealing with somebody's trailer that you have no idea about luckily everything seems to be working well though now just to test and see what the heights are all right all hooked on and we are heading luckily it's only one mile away they were so concerned about how much it would cost blah 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 and i'm like i'm not i mean what type of person charges an 80 year old lady to move her trailer a mile but uh kind of interesting we are moving it to robert redford's old ranch the double r ranch here in spanish fork never been there uh i asked if old bob would be there and they said nah he's not there today considering he sold it like 30 years ago but uh, hopefully there's no height issues or anything like that, so we will just continue on down Been pretty easy so far. Hopefully everything goes smooth Well, this is the probably the heaviest load I've towed with this truck <laughs> uh, About 16,000 pounds because she has this thing full it has all the water all that sort of stuff Luckily the hitch everything's set up nice, so I don't have to worry about hitting or anything like that Distances seem pretty dang good. You always worry not knowing somebody's setup, what's gonna happen, especially with a short bed truck like this. Speaking with the owner, I guess in a few weeks, she's gonna be moving out to more of a permanent location out near Delta, Utah. So she just needs this here for a few weeks to make do 
Uh, sounds like she just sold her home and is just changing a lifestyle, which is awesome. I uh, hope everything works out for her because she seems like a really, really, really nice person. All right, here we are. Robert Redford's old ranch. Double R Ranch. Well, that worked out pretty dang easy. Uh, got her all unhooked. She's just going to park it there for a few days before she moves. Told her that if she doesn't have a truck to tow it to her next destination out by Delta, Utah, which is a few hours away, to give me a call and I'd see what I do to help her out. Um, just what a super nice lady. Well, I guess now I can just go and find out if Kara started on dinner yet and maybe work on finishing up that RV pad. I still need to haul in some more gravel, but it's coming around pretty good. It is just so dang good to get this truck back and actually be able to use it. Um, I wouldn't have been able to help this lady out if I didn't have the truck back in it. So maybe it all worked out for a reason so I could help her out. Comment below if you ever get opportunities like this to, you know, help somebody out. And if, and if you take those opportunities when you get a chance. As always, like, subscribe, all those sort of things. And remember to enjoy your weekend.